I am so comforted uh, and I feel so much hope for where we'll be 10 years from now. The Canadian Museum for Human Rights here in Winnipeg is celebrating its 10th anniversary and the museum is marking this milestone by the return of the witness blanket installation. On September 20th, 2014, this museum opened its doors as the first national museum to be built outside of Ottawa. Since its opening, over 2.25 million visitors, including hundreds of thousands of children, have walked through. Museums are interesting beasts, are they not? Uh, and we, I think, in uh, 10 years uh, for this museum, which makes me smile, 10 years of so many wonderful things, so much growth and so much learning. The witness blanket created by Carrie Newman is a large scale work of art that carries the stories of Indian residential school survivors through hundreds of reclaimed items and it's just the latest installation at the museum. I think that as long as we are willing to do that, then we don't get stuck. Um, and it opens up space for the work to do what it's meant to do and for the blanket to be what it's meant to be. In 2019, an agreement defined the witness blanket as a living entity and names the museum and Newman as joint stewards of the work and the stories it carries. As much as it's showing the histories and horrors of Canada and our people, I feel like it's also showing you know, the healing journey that we're all kind of doing collectively and that, you know, we're, we're bringing love and making space for one another. We are willing and ready to listen and witness to see the children come home. We are ready to see an end to missing and murdered Indigenous women, girls, and two-spirited relatives. And today we saw the medicine that we need to make that happen. In Winnipeg, Alex Carpa, City News.